lovelies. Imagine a world where every single pregnancy is planned. Of the 208 million pregnancies that occur worldwide every year, 41% are unplanned. And of those, nearly half end in abortion. Imagine a world where every single person can make an informed decision about their sexual and reproductive health. Well, Bayer Healthcare and its international partners plan to do just that with their It's Your Life, It's Your Future campaign. And they asked me to come on board. And since World Contraception Day is coming up on the 26th of September, I want to help to raise awareness. Firstly, I want to chat about how people act when it comes to contraception. How many of us have had unprotective sex, or have at least heard of a friend or an acquaintance who has done it? How often do you hear people say, oh, we were just drunk, or he didn't seem that keen on a condom, so I thought, well, I'll just risk it. I mean, it sounds crazy, right? But it is happening over and over again. I went to a really small high school, and there were only about 12 girls in our final year. Within the next two years, five of these girls became unintentionally pregnant. That's over a third of us. And what really freaks me out is that they weren't uneducated about contraception, just like you probably are. But for some reason, these girls and their partners let their guard down, which unfortunately is really easy to do. So I hope this video will encourage you to be more careful and take control when it comes to your sex life and ultimately your future. Maybe some people just aren't comfortable with contraception. They feel embarrassed, perhaps, to go to a store to buy a condom, so instead they'll just use the pull-out method. It sometimes seems that we're less comfortable informing ourselves about sex and contraception than we are physically having sex. A great method was proposed by Bayer as part of the campaign to help people talk about sex. They came up with the hashtag, a friend of mine, where people can ask questions and speak about sex on behalf of a friend, which makes it a whole lot less scary. I asked you to submit questions on Twitter. These questions could have been on behalf of yourself or a friend, nobody really needs to know. I'm going to try and answer them as best I can, and if you need any more information, I have a really great place for you to go. I have a friend who slept with a guy she only just met. The condom broke, what should she do? I'd advise her to speak to a healthcare practitioner, who would be able to give her medical expertise, but I would also encourage her to have a discussion with a guy about their sexual history. I know it might seem embarrassing and scary, but it's actually not. It's really mature and respectful to have a chat about it. Once you know each other's history and what risks are involved, if there are any, you should just take things from there. These mistakes happen and the best way to deal with them is to actually deal with them. By sitting on it quietly, the worry will only just build up. It's so much better to be proactive and you'll find when you are proactive about your life, you can positively learn from the mistakes you make and move forward. Should I tell the guy I really like that I have an STI? Yes, <laughs> I do think you should, but I also think you really need to make sure you're comfortable enough to speak about your sexual history. And when you do, Please be open to answering any questions he or she might have about your STI. I think talk it out and see what happens. Remember, there are loads of people who have STIs and are also in healthy relationships. So just find a way that makes you both feel comfortable. When do you think somebody is ready to have sex? Right, there is no specific answer for this. You don't just wake up one morning and feel like you're ready to have sex. I think you're probably ready when you feel extremely comfortable within yourself and with your partner, and both parties know about the relevant contraception. There is no right age to have sex. Everybody develops at different times, so never feel rushed into anything. And just make sure when you do have sex that you are safe. <laughs> Please be safe. What was your worst experience and how did you cope? Well, <laughs> South Africa, right, has the highest AIDS rate in the world. I'm just going to start off with that. <laughs> and my second boyfriend and I slept together once upon a time. And when we slept together, he decided for some reason that he didn't feel the need to use a condom. And I was on the pill, which is not an excuse. But being naive, I thought that maybe the pill would protect me from whatever STI he might have. And obviously once the deed was done, I looked it up and realized that no, the pill does not protect you from STIs. <laughs> so I started to freak out and I panicked. Really, I panicked. I spoke to my dad about it. 
I just was so freaked out I had to and he took me to an AIDS clinic to get a test now that was one of the more scarier things I've ever done in my life luckily I was negative and I'm so relieved that I went home and told everybody I don't have AIDS I'm so happy I went and had a test and I don't have it and I, I just had to get it all off my chest and my stepdad decided to go to my boyfriend's house and drop off a big box of condoms at his front door and even though that was incredibly mortifying and the whole thing was just traumatic I'm so glad that it all happened because I learned so much from it and if you ever have a scare like this I really encourage you to take action there is no point in just you know hoping for the best it is your life and your future for more advice and even a quiz on the best contraception for you i strongly suggest that you go and visit www.your-life.com i'm going to put a link in the description below if you have any stories feel free to use the hashtag a friend of mine or simply start a conversation below the more we talk about it the less of a taboo it will be and more people will be able to make informed decisions about their life thank you so much for watching Please remember how important it is to practice safe and healthy sex and to know what risk you really are taking when you decide to skip a pill or let's not use a condom today. I want all my viewers to take away something from this and I'd really love it if you could share this video with others and tell your friends about the website and the campaign and let's just all be safe. <laughs> let's just be safe in future. Let's just turn over a new leaf and be the best we can be when it comes to our sexual health. Until next time, lots of love. Bye.